Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to All Under the Squirrel Tree. I am really, truly glad you're here. Um, every single one of you makes me very happy to know that you're watching. And there's my opal. Come, baby girl. This is Miss Opal deciding she wants to be a movie star today. And she'll get her turn. Um, so, it has been a very busy week. Very, very busy. Um, I did a haul and a haul video uh, for Tuesday's grand extravaganza of shopping. And that was the to Lee's 50% off everything pink and purple. Uh, today, to Lee's had their, I guess it's Black Friday, 50% off the entire store. Every single thing in the store was 50% off. So we got out there earlier, we being my friend Mika and I, and I was very control. I have very strong self-control. I'm really proud of myself. I set myself, set myself a budget of $30 and I only spent 45 <laughs> But it was worth every cent. Um, I'm just, oh, I also have a small Timu haul and a small Dollarama haul. So lots of things to share with you tonight. Um, so let's get cracking, okay? First thing, well, the, the first thing that I have to show you I'm really excited about is my, um, where's my purse? Okay, I got these sneakers. I just saw them and fell in love with them. I didn't realize until I uh, got them home that they're actually Skechers. So they are very good quality. Um, they're a size 9. You can tell, you know, they've been worn, but not a lot. The um, the inside is not worn down at all. But look at, check out the pattern. Let's see, maybe this way is better. It looks so familiar to me. It's because it's the same pattern as my shopping bag. <laughs> anyway, I was very, very happy with these, especially that they fit. Now, their regular price was $7.49. But again, because it was half price, I only paid three seventy-five. And feel free to correct me if my math is wrong, because yeah. So on the other haul, I may have been really excited to tell you all about the new jeans that I bought. They're too big. I don't know what I was thinking. I should have bought twenty-twos. I didn't. I bought twenty-fours. They fit, but they're. Uh, after wearing them for a little while, I definitely need my little uh, clips that I got from Timu that bring in the belt loops. But they are—they look—they still look very nice. They're just a little bit loose around the waist. So, <laughs> Opal has the zoomies. So, no, you can't jump. Come back. Come back. Sorry. Um, so today I went specifically looking for size 22s. And boy, did I find them, but I was still very proud of myself. I self-control. These are actually only 2X. They're George, which is, I think, Walmart brand, right? Um, George Plus, they're 2X. And they were $8.99, so I paid four fifty. These are actually like, um, I mean, this is stitched. It's not printed on, but they're like leggings. Nice heavy stretch denim they fit really well a little snug because as i said you know they're i wear a 3x and these are 2x but uh yeah they're comfortable and i can actually wear them and then it was really quite funny the one pair of jeans that i got so much that i wore today that i loved so much that i bought that, and i wore them today and i kept hiking them up um, i found the exact same pair in the right size size 22 and I have tried them on and they're long enough and they fit well and I'm extremely happy but they were $13.99 so I paid seven dollars so it's a, a Tilly's is around Ontario there's several different places but I can't uh, say there's apparently one in Hamilton and Barrie and Whitby and Mississauga and a couple of other places but anyway um, this really cute shirt, I didn't see it on Tuesday, so they must have just put it out. 
it's Old Navy, and it was four twenty nine, so I paid two fifteen. But it's just a nice, uh, very short sleeve. It's this sort of stretchy uh, cotton. It's lovely. And it's real pretty peach color. I know that c colors don't always translate well on uh, the phone cameras or any cameras, especially with <clears throat> the lighting that I have here. Um, I did buy this. Uh, me and my plaid. I need to make a skirt tree for Maggie's tree. So I bought this little shirt from the baby section. It was four dollars. I paid two dollars, but I'm going to use it to make um, a skirt tree for Maggie's Christmas tree, and probably a cup, a pair of pajamas or something for her. So, and then I got, whoops. This t-shirt, this is uh, Lily Morgan again. It's a 3X. It was $7.29, so I paid $3.65. And it's just a nice, you know, long sleeve sweatshirt, that um, staticky charcoal gray. <laughs> but it's got a nice little zip in the front. And it is just gorgeous. It's so soft and lovely. And then I got this fabric. <laughs> Uh, it's beautiful, deep, deep, deep forest green with all these little gold Christmas trees and stars, and it's very pretty. It was uh, $6, so I paid 3 Where's the tag? Yeah, $5.99. I paid $3. And there is a very large amount of it. I don't know. Um, I have a friend who... Well, a friend of Catherine's makes little gift bags for Christmas treats and stuff, so she may get some use out of it, too. And I got myself another nightgown. I live in nightgowns. I do not like wearing anything constricting. It makes me feel very uncomfortable. So, unless I'm going out, um, I wear house dresses and nightgowns. So I got this nightgown. It looks to be brand new. This tag says five. I don't know what that means. It says plus. I don't know what that means. But I held it up and it's very... Looks like it'll fit me. But it's just very pretty. And I like having pretty things. Just a cute little tie here. And pretty little rose pattern. Um, it does not have a ruffle on the bottom. Which would have made it like absolutely 100% perfect. Now it's only like 99% perfect, but a little pink Swiss dot. I just, I love it. And this, this is the last thing I'll show you. Oh no, second last thing I'll show you from um, Talese. I know that I have talked to you before about my friend Never. I did a Meet a Maker Monday on him. Never is a very special person to me. Um, it's a, it's a long, complicated story and not mine to share, but they are just a very important person to me. And <clears throat> they call me, he calls me Mama Bear. I'm sort of like his honorary mom, and that's wonderful. I love having all of these honorary kids. I've got two very, very special honorary kids, and that means honorary grandkids, too. But, uh... Yeah, never calls me Mama Bear. And I actually found this shirt today at Talese. And I just, I could not resist. And it's my size. And it's, you know, like my favorite colors. Or favorite non-colors. But yeah, I was just, I was really, I got the giggles when I saw that. Because uh, I can wear that when I go out with Never. It was five twenty nine. I paid two sixty five, and yeah, very happy with that. Then the last thing I did get from there was not a clothing item. I looked at this on Tuesday, and I almost bought it on Tuesday, and then changed my mind um, simply because it was four dollars and twenty nine cents, and I didn't want to pay four dollars and twenty nine cents. Um, but I just got this really pretty wicker hanging basket. And it's got a nice long 
uh, I guess kind of like a teardrop shape with a flat bottom. It's a little worn at the top here, but nobody's going to see that because it's up on the ceiling. And I am, I love fake plants. I, I do not do well with real plants. But um, I'm going to put some fake ivy in it and hang it from the ceiling. And it was, as I said, $4.29, so I paid $2.15. And that made me very, very, very happy. Now, that was to Lee's today. Excuse me, I'm going to get a drink. As hey, everybody would say, give me a second while I hydrate. Thank you. Okay, little bits and bobs of stuff there. Okay, uh, Timo. Let's do Timo. I got this hat. Oh my gosh, I love this hat. I wore it today, and it is so cozy. It's um, just like, you know, like the little page boy hats. Really, really cute, soft and fuzzy. There's a little bit of a sparkle to it. Beautiful warm lining. Um, when it came, when it arrived, it had this not as necessarily my style little sort of medallion on the front like over here and i did not like it and my friend was here and i said you know what i'll just i'll see if i can take it off well when i took the pad out of the package it pretty much fell off and left this really yucky goopy uh, hot glue mess behind so I requested my money back and I got it back. Uh, and then um, later on, deeper in the package, I found this pin. The hat was uh, the hat was five ninety eight. As I said, I got my money back because it's it was it damaged. But I got this pin, and it's something that I. I just really, I really liked it. It's um, kind of to the point without being rude. You know, just letting somebody else have what everyone should have doesn't mean that you get less. So I do like that. It's not pie. That hat is very, very cozy. I don't know. I'll probably give this little uh, thing to Amanda. She likes sparklies like that. Um, some of the craft kits that I'm making are little pieces of felt that you have to sew together. Now, children and needles aren't always a good idea. So I ordered these, and they are just regular plastic darning needles. They'll work perfectly for the uh, craft kits. Um, there was a dollar forty-eight for 24 of them. So now that I see that they are... You know, definitely they're they're really sturdy. Even like the long ones are really sturdy. Um, nice bright colors, which isn't important, but nice. You know, it's kind of fun. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to order a couple more of these because they'll be making some awesome kits. Uh, where is Miss Opal? Okay, I do this quietly because this is her Christmas present. <laughs> this was a dollar seventy-eight. It's just a little ball of pom-poms. has a ring in it. This was, is also hers. This was a little smaller than I expected. I'm a little bit worried about her playing with it, but it'll be one of those things that she only plays with when I'm uh, watching it. It's actually a really pretty bright pink, but it looks kind of orange here. And it was $1.79. And I got two spools of this elastic thread for the jewelry making uh, craft kits it's nice it's strong you can really really pull hard on it and it doesn't snap so if you're into like beading making beaded bracelets or whatever this is good thread um, it was do to dollar 79 for a lot and as I said I got two of them so that oh no and this I also got a refund for this because it is smashed uh, just another nice stencil. It's tree branches. 
248 but it is like quite badly uh, cracked so I did get a refund on that um, I actually I probably will use it for branches as well but uh, never uses it for lightning and I thought that was the coolest thing so I ordered it so I could make some uh, stenciled lightning so that was it for Timu uh, last place this was actually yesterday uh, I have shopped every day this week almost <laughs> oh my goodness Thank goodness for discount stores and half price sales. So the last place we went to was our the uh, yesterday with Jen, my friend Jen, was um, Dollarama, and I got some pretty awesome stuff there. I found I had this. I know I showed it in a different haul. This very cute little um, kit for making pipe cleaner, uh, chenille stem pipe cleaner, whatever you call them, uh, felt and felt flower pots, but they use um, this styrofoam ball. Now, I've got little red solo cups, like the real little, little ones, but they didn't have any styrofoam balls. So I thought I'll try this florist foam and see if it not wet you know, cut it into a chunk to fit into the bottom of these um, solo cups so that I can make some of those kits to share with uh, Catherine. It was $2 for this nice big block. And I know that that stuff works well because I, when I used to use it for holding stuff up while I was making resin and jewelry and other things. Um, so I know how it, how it holds. I got another package of these felt swatches. They are six by six, 40 pieces for $3. It's nice, uh, consistent felt. Uh, some of the cheaper felt is like very thin in places, very thick in others, and you can always work around it. But this is, um, this brand, Dollarama's brand is particularly uh, consistent and some nice colors. So, got that. And I have the most gigantic pile of stuff beside me. Because I haven't picked it up and put it away yet. So that's my job for later. <laughs> um, oh, no, yeah. I got this at Talese as well today. Uh, don't know how it slipped in there. Anyway, um, it's a complete brand new diamond painting kit. And it's this nice like water lilies. I did open it to make sure everything was there because I'm going to give it to Catherine to take to friends. Um, and it's absolutely, everything is complete. There's nothing missing at all. Um, and it's going to be very pretty. So I thought, you know, there's uh, a, a lot of people would like to make, to use that. So, and I certainly have more than enough of my own. Uh, I got my, Usual iced tea. Oh, that delete that um, was two fifty. The oops. Sorry, that was my alarm went off. I don't know if you heard it or not, but I had an alarm set for six, in case I dozed off. Um. Yeah. So, from Dollarama, I got my regular raspberry iced tea. I always get that. I love that. And now I can't drink it till morning because it does have caffeine in it. And it will keep me awake. This is all hither, pither, hither, bither, whatever. Hodgepodge. Uh, no order to the stuff. Dollar um, seventy-five. I don't know how many are in there, but enough. <laughs> they are teeny tiny. Look at the size of them. They're teeny tiny, like little one quarter inch um, jingle bells. Red, green, and gold. I just fell in love with them. I might make some earrings out of them. Oh, Opal likes them. <laughs> it's not toys, baby. See? Not toys. She thinks it's toys. Um, now I'm working on the Santa Keys. 
and I need cards to send them off in. So I got an, I got one pack earlier in the year, really cute ones, and then I saw these ones and I figured I'll grab another one just in case. I need more. $2 for 16 of them. And they're all the same pattern, but it's a really cute pattern. So I do, was very happy with that one. Uh, yeah, as usual, I always pick up one of these, the uh, Emodium. I, <laughs> Andrea, Andrea's husband and I have this in common, Andrea from um, the Happy Hand Panner. Yeah, I like these. And I wasn't going to buy them because I've got chocolate already. And, you know, I'm trying to keep into like the size 2022 clothes. And that's not going to happen if I keep eating all this stuff. But I'm being very responsible with them. They were, yeah, like $4. Definitely more than I would normally spend for chocolate. Same with these. <laughs> uh, feel free to remind me not to eat it all at one night. Um, Cellas, milk chocolate strawberries, they are delicious. There's 10 in this one, and they were $3 or $4. I don't remember. And then, um, these ones actually are gems. Aren't they cute? They are so adorable. I really, really like these. But... These are gems. They just got dropped in my bag. Uh, this is also partly gems. Um, I'm having a hard time finding... Oops, better put that up there because she might be coming up later tonight. And I can give it to her. Um, I'm having a hard time finding magnets that are strong enough without being, you know, huge and clunky. Because I made this little uh, pizza fridge magnet. But the magnet that I put on it, it just fell off. It wouldn't stick to the fridge. And this is light. This is just a, one of those little um, balsa wood circles. And leftover drill, diamond drills from diamond painting kits. It's very, very light. And the magnet wouldn't even hold it up. So I peeled that off. And I got these. There's 200 pieces uh, for $1.50. And... Um, Jen had an idea for something using magnets, and I want to make sure that they work before I go buying a bunch of them, so we figured we'd split the... It's not quite an equal split, but um, I don't need as many. Uh, so yeah, dollar fifty for 200 of them, and we'll see how they work. Hopefully, well, enough at least to hold a little tiny piece of balsa wood on the fridge. The last thing I think, I'm pretty sure, yeah, the last thing I got uh, at Dollarama, I was very pleasantly shocked to see a paper quilling kit. Now, I've been getting back into it, and this was not there the last time I was there. It was $3. The only thing you need to buy is the glue. Well, the you need to have is the glue. Most people have glue anyway if they're crafting. It comes with the paper strips. These are quarter inch ones. And they come off quite nicely. Uh, in the two, Just in the two colors that you need to make the snowflakes. Uh, I'm going to be making one of these because I love paper quilling. It comes with the little um, paper quilling tool. So that you can, you just, these are wonderful. You just focus your eyes to where you can see because it's so tiny. And then take the paper right to the end. And that's it. And you get a very nice, tidy, tight coil. Um, so yeah, I was extremely pleased to see that. And I will go back and get some more. Um, these are the kind of, well, I mean, I suppose I could make them, but I don't think they would work as well. Each one has, comes with two patterns for the snowflakes. It comes with complete directions on, uh, how to wrap and form the 
size, the little shapes that you need. And it comes with two mounting boards. Is there two of them? There's only one of them? I thought there was two of them. Uh, well, maybe this is dimensional. Maybe it doesn't... Uh, well, I'll see. Even so, $3 for a kit is a very, very good price. But it, yes, it does come with a mounting board so that when you've made your snowflake, you can mount it on this. Although, I'm going to hang mine in the window. And I'm going to use um, my printer paper because that's I'm more I've got more of that than I do of these strips. Uh, if I can turn make it into a proper kit, I will. If not, I'm actually going to buy a couple of them to send up because paper quilling is very relaxing. I find it very uh, it's hard to explain because you do have to pay attention, but um, I guess everything just sort of flows. So it's it's very relaxing for me. I enjoy it. Um, but yeah, that was my Dollarama. Three dollars for that. Simple, simple. It it look. I mean, look at this. It looks so. Hopefully, there's not a glare, but it looks so complicated. But it's not. It's extremely simple. Um, that's what I mean. Paper quilling is a good thing for little kids to do simple shapes, uh, work with their, you know, their fine motor skills, the hand-eye coordination, and that. So that was my big shopping trip. Um, trips. <laughs> oh, and I did also get these pants today. Just. Plain, stretchy track pants. Not track pants. Um, I don't know what you call them. Pants. They're not leggings, but they're the same material that leggings is. So they are so incredibly comfortable. I don't like pants. I don't, like I mentioned, I don't like anything constricting. It's kind of like I, I don't feel like I'm even wearing them. But in any case, uh, that was my wonderful day again. And... Uh, hopefully I won't go shopping again for a while because mm -hmm, mm, money is tight. Uh, I do have another team order coming in, but it's not a very big one or exciting one. So I don't know. I don't know if I'll film that one or not. Anyway, I am so glad that you came to visit me under the tree. Nellie and Vincent and all the babies. And Maggie was jealous, but she's guarding her tree. And Opal, I'll say hi. Um, we'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye. Have a wonderful...